hey, what's better than a bunch of metal boys? One slightly larger metal boy. It's Xenovember, and when given the choice among all non-orc Xenos races, my epic patrons voted for Necrons. With Necrons, you pretty much have three options. Bug, building, or skeleton. I decided to go with skeleton, and being me, I wanted to go Titanic. Delving into the lore, I found one cursed mention of a giant-sized Necron, and that was good enough for me. Time to start building. Here's a selection of stuff, including some action figures and other junk. If you're already subscribed, you won't be surprised by this selection of bits. If you are new here, subscribe and check out the rest of the channel. I used this Terminator toy as the base for the torso. Then some of those plastic bottle pack handles and this vaguely Egyptian looking oval to make a cool rib cage. The top points of the chest armor are from a transformer toy. Chewing gum container lid split in two made a nice foundation for the cobra wing looking back panels that most Necrons seem to have. I needed to make fully custom legs for this big guy. I started out with these round butt cheeks. The thighs are spray bottle triggers. This is a great example of the value of having a matched pair of random items. Normally, you might not think of using a trigger as a leg. Not sure what building system the knees come from. It could be Mega Blocks. I borrow the legs from this Power Ranger and also the head for some reason. Then using definitely Mega Blocks, I form the classic metal clogs that are so popular among the Necrontier. Trim those feet down and then, spoiler alert, I add these fins to build up the ankle. Time to chop off and reposition the head. This guy needs to have way worse posture if he's going to fit in with his tiny Necron brothers. Time for an over-the-top, slightly Egyptian-looking headdress. Necron heads aren't just metal skulls, they do have kind of a distinct shape with higher cheekbones. I found some interesting car bits that worked to imply the higher and wider cheeks. Time to bust out the old green stuff for some light sculpting work. First, I attempt to unify the various panels that make up the chest and shoulders. Then I beef out the thighs. Let's stamp in some circles and lines. Necrons love circles and lines. And a bit of green stuff to fatten up those feet into the metal clogs that we all know and love. I had the bad transitions and fingerprints with a light coating of modeling paste. The 
only thing Necrons love more than circles and avoiding chiropractors are hexagon. For the base, I wanted to use some hexagonal elements, but also keep it natural, man. Inspired by nifty basalt formations, I got to work slicing up these hexagonal tubes. Hours later, I had enough to begin the painstaking process of gluing together a perfect pattern. Some pieces ended up slightly misaligned, which is exactly what I intended to happen. Everything got rockified with sand sprinkles. Then I used a smooth, refreshing dab of spackle soup to tone down the overly gritty appearance of the sand. According to the single image of the Satek, they wield a massive energy staff weapon. Using various tubes and some weapon-ish toys, I put together the handle part and the damaging part. It was time to connect the two. Here we will rely on the magic of sci-fi energy beam cohesion, represented by some bendy wires. After adding a few more arcing and zip-zapping wires, the staff was done. I think these terminator arms will work well if I slice them up. I pinned and reposed the arms and stuck him all together. Wait, how will his metal brain control this big old body without a robo spinal cord? Using more of the plastic bottle holders and some cool car kit pieces, I made a nice curved spine. Did I mention that my good and epic patrons forced me to build this? Maybe you want to force me to build something, or maybe you just want to contribute to the overall quality of the channel. Head over to my Patreon after this and see which exciting tier option is best for you. Alright, let's take a look at this thing. Hmm, maybe a primer coat to see what we're really working with? Oh hey, now that's looking pretty nice. Well. That's it for the build. All of the finishing work and painting will be completed in the next and final part. If you enjoyed seeing this project come together, please leave a like and drop a comment down below to let me know your favorite part of the build. If you didn't like it, make sure you dislike and drop a comment down below to let me know your least favorite part of the build. Make sure you subscribe and ring that bell. That way, you will definitely see me in part two.